What's this? Somebody's in trouble. And um, a car upside down. It's David Cook, the DC Cook Motorsport car, number 18, upside down by the tyre barriers at the end of the pit straight. That's Old Hall. They approach the corner at 135 miles an hour, flat out in fifth gear. Formula 3 car was left strand. The race, however, didn't go very much further, going into Beckett for the first time. Mario Haberfeld and Darren Manning connected one another. Haberfeld launched into this series of rolls. And had to think about how to get the cars off the line. This was what had happened. Manning diving up the inside of Haberfeld, who arrived at the corner offline. As he came across to claim that line, he found Manning on the inside. The wheels interlocked, and over he went. Warren Hughes all over the kerb and all over the grass. But worse was to follow for Johnny Cade. Squeezed out between Dumbrecht and O'Connell. The car was launched into the air, into the barrier. And both his car and that of Dumbrecht was left absolutely shattered. And three people into the, uh, the second part of the bus stop wasn't going to work, so... But I feel I was, you know, I was the one in front. So if I, if I tried to slow down, someone would have gone over the top of me. So really, you know, I was stuck in the middle. I couldn't really do anything. Uh, I've just hurt my wrist a little bit, but it should be okay. And so to the restart. And guess what happens now? Berman fails to get away properly, and his near stationary car is collected from behind by the Argentinian Brian Smith. And watch too for the only lady driver in the race, Paula Cook, who barrel rolls over the top of the incident. The replays show what happened. Berman failed to get away properly and was collected by the Argentinian Brian Smith. Paula Cook was involved in the incident behind as the drivers tried to avoid the two stopped cars in front of them. After the incident at Silverstone at the beginning of the year and now this at Donington Park, the two Paul Stewart racing drivers might be forgiven for keeping an extra eye in the mirrors and a lookout for Brian Smith. This is the view from James Matthews' car. Well behind, Christian Horner, Paula Cook and Chris Clark all involved. I'm sure looking for the gap that wasn't there, Cunningham has found it on the grass and Manassio hits the tyre wall there which spreads itself over the track. There are tyres everywhere and there are tyres, more tyres as a huge accident. Sees Philip Hopkins roll out of the race there. It looks as if Paula Cook was also involved, and I can't help but believe, yes, the red flag comes out. So the order stays the same. Will they restart? Philip Hopkins was a little less lucky, but after this enormous accident, he was reported to be suffering nothing more serious than concussion. The Class B paysetter, though, was faced with a huge repair bill. Auf der Rundstrecke, ob beim Rally oder beim Offroad Sport. Die halten sich auf dem Laufenden hier bei Eurosport. Das wird dann weitergehen, schon am kommenden Mittwoch im Rahmen von Motors. Going around the outside of Rademacher. He cuts across there into the lead. Whoops, there's driver behind. That's one of the Racing for Spain cars off is Ivan Arias, who has gone off in a very big way right at the start. Let's see in replay. We can work out what happened there. He gets launched and the car rolls at least twice, ends up on its side. A good draw for Arias that he wasn't in the middle of the field, otherwise there would have been yet more cars to have been involved in that. Everybody able to avoid the Spaniard going around on the outside. Full mark to the marshals there for being there so quickly. A later mistake though dropped him back and into a battle with his teammate Elton Julian. When the two cars touched on the approach to the chicane, Albert's car was launched off the track and he died from his injuries. So coming through the Priory Kink, down into Brooklands. And whoa, look at that. Negri goes for a wild right, crashes into the barrier. A big shunt for Osvaldo Negri in the Bowman. He seemed to trip over the back of Marcel Alba's car. We'll see it in replay in a moment. But a very big shunt. Negri climbs out, shaken but not stirred. Let's just see it again, through the kink. Look at the smoke coming up off Negri's front tyres. He left his braking very late and it appeared that he hit the back of the Albers machine. Move here at Donington. Hackenham not having any of it. Locking up. Stuart locking up as well. Brilliant stuff. And behind there is a major, major crash. It looks like Paul Stewart's teammate Higgins has gone off. And there are cars all over the place. Frantic Formula 3 racing. It looked like Tanaka in the background as well. It is. Higgins, Tanaka, and upside down, Jonathan McGaw. Let's hope he's all right. The marshal's talking to him. 
RT34, he's out, thank goodness for that. And Tanaka came round through the sand to have a look and see if he was all right. He must have had the shock of his life there.